Potable water tanks and towers are an important part of our infrastructure. However, many of us don't realize they're the last stop before that water makes its way to your faucet. Welcome to Tap Talk, where we discuss what's really going on in your water system. We safely put a diver into a water storage tank. We suck all the sediment out of the bottom of it. We get them nice and clean and we pull the diver out. That way the tank gets cleaned, but they never had to take it out of service. Hi, I'm Ron Perrin, president of Ron Perrin Water Technology Incorporated. This is Robert, my son and vice president. He's also our safety manager here at Ron Perrin Water Technologies. We're here with Wally. He's our new cleaning robot. We purchased Wally to clean standpipes. And although we've been cleaning water tanks and towers with uh, divers, but it gets a little more challenging when the standpipes are over 100 foot tall and it's incredibly deep water for the divers to enter. So we introduced our robot to go inside and make its way down to the floor of the tank and it can stay there as long as it needs to to clean the water. Robert, show them how the head works, the, the cleaning tip. So if you have a lot of sediment, we can adjust it to uh, clean anything from an eighth of an inch to three feet. You know, it just may take us a little bit longer, but we're going to be able to remove the sediment without any turbidity. We operate this camera on a tether connected to a controller operated with a monitor so we can see what's going on at the base of the tank as we move up and down to figure out where we need to be to get the sediment removed. So how far up will it go? Okay. So we have complete maneuverability and we're gonna go to our standpipe we just got finished cleaning to show you what it looks like in action. Okay, as we make our way into the standpipe, we're gonna take a look at two very different jobs. The first job is several feet of sediment. And as you can see, our tip is pretty much buried in the sediment and we are still not creating a lot of turbidity this just takes a little bit more time as we make our way across the tank now we're going to go back to the other job and you'll see it's only about an inch of sediment we had a couple of inches in the deepest area I think but we were able to get everything all the way down the clean floor. In both of these tanks, one of them just took a lot longer to do than the other. Again, no turbidity as we work slowly to ensure that. And we were able to go all the way up to the wall on both tanks with this uh, deep tracker cleaning unit. I want to take you out to a job site now. This is Ron Perrin. We're here in Oklahoma at a 98 foot tall standpipe. I'm here with Robert, Josh, and Victor. They're our ROV cleaning crew today. We start by getting everything we need on top of this thing. This is Victor. He's one of our field hands. He's been with us for about three years now. He's a really hard worker. You can see he's clipped off there as well. 
very important when you're working at height. And now we're getting our unit inside the tank. This tank is 98 foot tall, but when we got there, we only had 77 foot of water in it. It had a high of 87 foot, but uh, most of the time we were operating at less than that. We were still able to clean the tank. It works better if we can get the water all the way up to the overflow level, but this tank never has that much water in it. You can see the water is coming in about as fast as it ever does right there. And um, that's just a really slow fill. We always ask our customers to uh, fill the tanks before we get there. And we expect them to be at or even over the overflow level. So our cleaning process works the best. We got delayed a little bit here, waiting on uh, the guys at the top to add some hoses. So we were just suspended for a little bit. And then we move on down to the floor. Are we getting close to the floor? No. Maybe connected to this. And that's going to wrap up this episode. Everything in this damn pipe has been removed. Thanks for watching.